Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial on the Google Calendar mobile app for iPhone. So let's get straight into it. Open the app. Okay, uh, so I'm currently in monthly view. If you go up to the three little lines menu to the left of the month, the name of the month up the top, top left, uh, it takes you straight to the home screen where your menu is. You can slide that off, slide it back on. So I have three different calendars. I have events, reminders, and work. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the work calendar that I've created myself. Um, so let's untick the other two and let's slide that off. And let's, let's say I have a work shift, Monday the 8th. I tap on Monday the 8th. If we go to the top here, tap to create. Great, so we can do that tap to create. Alternatively, you can uh, cross out of that and you can go down here to the bottom right and, and click the plus, that colored plus icon you can do. Uh, it will do the same thing. But for us, let's go tap to create. Um, let's go work. There it is. Now it's currently on Monday the 1st of June. I want Monday the 8th. I so I click on the day. It brings up calendar view. Uh, so let's click on the 8th. Now, I don't want to start at 1 o'clock. I, uh, you know, just say the shift starts at 9 o'clock. Let's click on the time. Use your scroll wheel, 9 o'clock. Uh, click on the end time. Again, scroll wheel. If you're using 24 hour time like I am, that'll be 1700. Um, you can add a location you know, the location of your work, if you so wish to do that. Let's just say um, post office. So let's choose one of those. Okay, great. So there's your location of your work. Um, you may have noticed, you may have noticed when I was on the home screen, my default color for my work calendar was red. You can still change that. You know, you can, you can change that to, you know, whatever mood you're feeling, you know. Let's keep it calm. Let's, uh, let's choose lavender and uh, have a nice calm work day. So, hang on. Okay, so now we hit save. Save that and then boom, there it is. Uh, you can see Monday the 8th, you've got the little picture there of where you work uh, and the shift times. Just say uh, you've been offered two more shifts. Let's just say for Wednesday and Friday. Uh, but you don't want to have to go through that process again. So you want to just like copy it or duplicate it, yeah? So if you click on that entry, and I'm just going to click on the picture in this mode, up in the top right, you'll see the little ellipsis icon, which is the, you know, the three dots, you know, which is basically more, more to come. You get your options here. So... We want to duplicate that entry to Wednesday. We don't want to copy two. Copy two is for uh, another function. Just say you, you've entered it into your you know, reminders calendar or events calendar instead of your work calendar. You can copy it to another calendar. But for this, this purpose, we want to duplicate. So hit duplicate. We want to duplicate this same shift the same entry to Wednesday so let's click on the day brings up the calendar mode click on Wednesday the 10th and uh, there you go everything should be the same so you don't have to do anything just hit save now if we go back to month oh, okay, you will see you'll see two entries there one for the 8th and one for the 10th but also if you hit the back arrow up in the top left up here there's your, you can see there on, on your monthly view, you're working on the 8th and the 10th. It's the same shift. So, uh, you know, if those shifts get cancelled, you delete them. So you click on it, it takes you to schedule mode, click on the shift that you need to delete, go up to ellipsis, the three dots, uh, click delete, delete event, yes. Uh, if you go back, use the back arrow again, gone, gone ski. 
let's enter a block of shifts. Just say you get a two week block of shifts. Uh, and you know, at this stage, they're all the same time. You know, you don't want to have to enter the same thing every day, or even have to duplicate one to the next day to the next day, you don't want to do that. You want to enter the whole block in um, at one time. So let's go back to the eighth, we're going to start there. You know, go through the same process. This is the most important thing. We're only working from Monday to Friday for two weeks, okay? So we want an option that allows us to do that. So click on more options. Currently it says does not repeat. Click on does not repeat. We want it to repeat. Okay, so you get these options. Do you want it to repeat every day, every week, every month, every year? How do you want it to repeat? Well, ideally, we would love it to repeat every weekday, not every day, every weekday. Um, but for some reason, that option isn't here. And this is what prompted me to do this tutorial because it doesn't seem um, in intuitive uh, to do it this way. But this is the way I discovered. So for every weekday, you first have to enter every week. Okay, so it says every week. No, but we don't want every week. So we have to click every week again. And now we go to custom. Now we get more options. Do we want it to repeat every week on Monday? No. So go to the um, drop down arrow to the right. This is where you can tick every weekday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you've manually selected every weekday. Hit the back arrow next to repeat on up in the top left, hit that. Now it currently says doesn't end. We want it to end after two weeks. So let's click this option. I'm going to click on a date because I want it to end on a specific date. Now I'm going to be working from the 8th uh, to the 19th. Okay, that that's a two week block. So my last day will be on Friday the 19th. I will click that. Click done. Okay, it says repeats every week on weekdays until Friday the 19th. Fantastic. Okay, enter title. I haven't done that. Just do that. Click save. Boom. There we go. Monday to Friday, 8th to the 12th, and then again from the 15th to the 19th. Now, click on um, the back arrow at the top left. Takes you to uh, monthly mode, and bang. You can see them all there. Just say you you need to edit or change the times of those shifts, you know. So let's go to the first shift on the 8th. Click on it. Click on that entry. I'm clicking on the picture just so you know. This time, the little pencil, this is what we want to click on up here in the top right because we want to edit it. Click on your day. Let's click on the finishing time. And, you know, a shift's been cut in half, so, you know. I don't know, around one o'clock, so from nine to one, okay. Now, it's still going to repeat every week on weekdays until Friday the 19th, so save. This time, you want to save it as this and all following events. It will change all of them, so you don't have to manually change every shift. Boom. Done. Click the cross. And you can see that that's updated there. And that's about it, guys. That's that's all I've uh, uh, discovered. I hope that helps. And um, all the best. Cheers.